Hello friends, welcome to my Rashid Iqbal channel. Today we will learn about the component of a street light feeder pillar. First let me inform you that the feeder pillar is an electric panel containing a circuit breaker used to protect branch circuit serving lighting fixture as well as switching or controlling lighting and lighting circuit. This is precast foundation where the feeder pillar is fixed with the help of anchor bolt. Inside this panel, there is a MCCB called molded case circuit breaker where the main power cable terminates. This power cable is fed from service cabinet where KWH energy meter is installed. There is a contactor used to switch the branch circuit on and off with the help of timer and photocell when the system is turned into auto mode. Here we have an MCB called miniature circuit breaker where the branch outgoing cable need to be connected. The number and size of the outgoing circuit should be as per the feeder pillar schedule. This is another MCB used to protect the timer switch. Next to the timer, there is an RCCB called residual current circuit breaker used to provide protection for the switch socket installed below. This is a phase selector switch and this is an auto manual selector switch. In manual mode, the current flow direct through the contactor to the branch MCB without disturbing the photo cell and timer. In auto mode, the contactor coil pick up through the timer and photo cell. Here is the neutral link bar where the main and branch neutral wire are to be connected. And this is the earth link bar where all branch earth wire are connected along with the main earthing wire coming from the earth pit. This is an analog timer. And this round shape resembles a clock showing a 24 hour time format. This knob switch has three options. Turning towards option O means timer will be off. I means timer will be directly on and this clock shape option means timer will be on or off as a setting time. The triangle here points to the current time, still it is towards uh, 12 and right now current time is 10 am. So first we need to set the current time by rotating it until the arrow points to the 10, that's mean 10 am in the morning. You can see that arrow is now facing toward 10, that's mean 10 o'clock. Now I am going to set up the switch on and off time for street light. We can push or pull up this pin. If you pull it up, the timer is off. And if you pull it down, the timer is on. I want to turn on the light at 5 pm until 6 am in the morning. Therefore I need to push the pin from 17 to 6. When feeder pillar energized. Timer round shape start rotating like a clock. Once this pushed button reach to the arrow, timer will activate and it gives signal to MCCB to energize outgoing circuit. This is photo cell. In case it gets dark outside and the timer is not set according to the current situation, the photo cell sends a signal to contactor to pick up and energize the poles. This is a limit switch for panel light. If the panel door is open, the tube light will glow. If someone is working at night for the maintenance purpose, they can easily operate the feeder pillar. We have made a hole here for cable glanding. This is branch cables connected to the street light poles. After glanding and termination, it will look like this. I will make another video for cable glanding and termination. You can see here that all earthing and neutral cable are connected properly with their link bars and the phase wire is connected to the MCBs. In this drawing, you can see how the outgoing circuit MCB are connected to the main bus bar 
of the six way feeder pillar. Now let me show the wiring termination of this feeder pillar. These are the outgoing cables connected to the street lights. This is an auxiliary power supply for control circuit. And here is the RCCB connected to the switch socket. The socket is installed here for the maintenance purpose actually. This is a phase selector switch for control wiring and this is an auto manual selector switch. If we flip the knob towards the auto mode, the system will work through the timer and photo cell. While in manual mode, the conductor will direct energize and street light will turn on. We should keep some laminated documents and drawings so that maintenance technician can easily understand the circuit. I keep a single line diagram here. So these are all the components of a street light feeder pillar. Outside we have installed a separate earth pit for feeder pillar and service cabinet as you can see here. So, hope you understand the all components of street light feeder pillar. Thank you very much to watching this video. Please do like and subscribe Rashid Iqbal channel. We will see you in the next video.